Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm just Joe, no title, and I'm so glad you joined me for the Lord's Word of God today. And today we just celebrate and praise our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Jesus, the one it is and was and is to come, and there is no other. Amen. Amen. And so today we're going to read about Lazarus, the one that Jesus brought back from the dead. Amen. Amen. So if you brought your Bibles today, please turn to the book of John, chapter 11. And to set the stage, Lazarus is sick. And Mary and Martha, their sisters, send word to Jesus because they know Jesus well. And Jesus loves them because they want him to come and heal Lazarus. But Jesus delays on purpose to show the glory of God. And so we'll pick it up reading from verse 21. Now Martha said to Jesus, Lord... If you had been here, my brother would have not died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. And Jesus says to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus says to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She says to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God who is to come into the world. Then Jesus said again, groaning in himself, came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone lay against it. Jesus says, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of him who was dead, said to him, Lord, by this time there is a stench, for he has been dead for four days. And Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you, that if you believe, you would see the glory of God. Now, when he had said these things, he cried out a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he who was dead came out bound hand and foot with the grave clothes, and his face was wrapped with the cloth. And Jesus said to them, loosen him, let him go. Brothers and sisters, this is the power of God. God can do anything. Amen? Amen. And so, brothers and sisters, Back in 2019, I had the great privilege of visiting Bethel, where Martha and Mary and Lazarus lived, and also got to go to see the tomb. And so I want to share a short video with you so you can experience what I got to experience that day. Amen? Amen. said, come out of the tomb, all the bodies. Come out of the graves, all the bodies in graves when he came up. But he said, Lazarus, come out. And that's why only Lazarus came out of the grave. Our dear Heavenly Father, we humbly come before your throne to thank you for sending your Son, Yeshua, to die for all of our sins and to arise to destroy death. And because of that, we have salvation and life for eternity. We believe in you, love you with heart, mind, and soul, and love thy neighbor as thyself. We thank you so much. And I pray this in the powerful, mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. Amen, brothers and sisters. And so, brothers and sisters, after Jesus' resurrection, a major miracle happened as well. And we'll turn to the book of Matthew, chapter 27, to read about that, starting reading in verse 52. And the graves were opened. 
And many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the graves after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. Amen, brothers and sisters. Amen. And so we never have to worry about death. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you believe God sent his only begotten son, incarnated in human form to die for your sins and mine, was buried in a rose, and you have repented of your sinful ways, brothers and sisters, you have the Holy Spirit in you, and death will not hold you down. You will rise in the last day and be with our Lord and Savior forever and ever. Amen? Amen. So brothers and sisters, always remember to take Christ as your master, your teacher, your example. Believe his doctrine and obey him. And remember to read up every day and pray up every day. And keep the love of Jesus in your heart. And we'll all be with our Lord and Savior someday for eternity. Amen? Amen.